here at a Home Depot and just having lunch. Vienna sausage. I use this and everything. I love to take this and put it into the ramen, cut it up. You can push it, squish it inside the little tortilla rolls, make like a little meat burrito or whatever this is made out of. And I need some supplies for some projects I'm doing. And um, yeah, not much going on. Sun came out, clouds are rolling in now today. The high was 60 degrees, which is beautiful. But it's been pouring rain, dumping nonstop. And it's supposed to keep dumping nonstop. I mean, we're getting close now. We're in October, end of October. So, get ready. Four or five months of rain, which is a blessing. We need it. So I'm hoping it dumps hard. We need it. Agua. Picked up the supplies I needed at Home Depot. And now I'm over at Bymart. I was going to show you these buckets are awesome. This is like a half size of the normal orange buckets at Home Depot. These are called the holy shit bucket. <laughs> this is for an emergency. You can line this with a bag. So if you got a holy shit moment, these are perfect. Real compact and they do the trick. So I'm here at Bymart. I'm looking for the um, filter for the Mr. Buddy heater that comes off the propane. I was getting them online. I checked online and they're now they're $34. I get them here for, last time I got it here, I think it was 12 bucks. So let's go see what they got. I wish everybody had Bymart. These are the best stores ever. It's like going right back to 1985, man. Yeah, these kind of places don't exist anymore. But it literally feels like it's 1985. It's the place where I got my first ID. I was like 12 years old. And to get in the old days, you had to have a green card. <clears throat> and they gave me one, so I was real proud. During all this craziness, they somehow were able to get ammo. You could get like one box a visit. Great store, great people. What I need is a good chair. The chair I want is right there. Because, you know, the round chairs, everybody knows these. Well, they bruise the hell out of your hips unless they're super extra large, but then they weigh a ton and I well, they got a couple left. I'll think about it. Cause I've always just sat on my little tripod chairs and I'm getting older. They have the filter? No, nope. it's out, but it's 10.99 here. Damn it. I'd like to get a new one once a year. Oh, look at these new Coleman propane stoves. Beautiful. Very similar to the vintage one that I have, actually. Almost looks the same. That's cool. I haven't seen this kind of model. That's nice. I love this new soft Gore-Tex stuff. Sixty-four ninety-seven. I'm gonna have to check that out. Mostly Stansport stuff. Some stuff they, you'll see some Uko stuff. And Mountain House, good prices. <laughs> I'm trying to downsize that. So. Likeable Lou, 18 dollars good price. We'll get one of each, please. This is scary. It's October. <clears throat> End of October. Look at that. Oh my God, Christmas is already here. Crazy. 
trying to train myself to get back into looking over at the camera. <laughs> so it's all crazy. It's been a long time since I filmed this style, you know. Get out of here. Damn, crow. I can clap, I'm smoking and holding the camera. Anyway, all I did, I just grabbed some um, windshield wiper fluid. Yeah, it's a bummer they didn't have that filter. You saw the price on that, it was like 1049. I checked on online and it was double. I think I'm gonna get Taco Bell. Sounds good, it's a treat. I find myself hitting every fast food place known to man when they're around. McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, love it. Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., love it. When I'm in the city especially, I like to listen to classical music because of all the chaos that's happening around you. But on my last channel, I kept getting copyright strikes because YouTube has an algorithm that can tell the wavelengths of the song. So they can pick it out <clears throat> instantly. Let's see if I, I want to do it just for a test and see if they pick this up. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, it's bumper to bumper. School buses everywhere, it's, it's 4.30. But it's bumper to bumper, just like back to normal, traffic. I even got a Fanta. I don't ever drink carbonated sodas or any of this. When I was young, I lived off it. Remember um, Jolt Cola? <laughs> Had like 10 times more caffeine than Coca-Cola. Jolt Cola, this would have been in the early 80s, mid 80s. We'd stop at the Dairy Mart in the morning at what was it, 7 a.m. on our BMX bicycles and get a 32 ounce of Joe Cola. So you had these little, you know, 11 year old kids cracked out of their minds going berserko. <laughs> Joe Cola, man. I wonder if it still exists. I'm gonna look it up. Joe Cola. Yeah, if I've been, if I come back down into a city, I always end up getting, you know, luxuries. this. Oh, there's a Napa Auto Parts. I'm going to stop it. I need to see if they have something that I need. Perfect. Perfect. I need a relay. The last one I got is just the generic. I got it out of Riley's. Said it was the same thing. But I put it in and I was, um, I put it in, everything was great. I drove about three miles and all of a sudden I'm on a super busy two-way highway or, you know, there are two lanes going each direction, railroad tracks on my right, total bumper to bumper. The radio started cutting in and out and then the car shuts down. I go. Jesus, I put it in park, trying to start it, battery's totally dead. <clears throat> and I'm the first one at the light, of course. I've got 5,000 cars behind me, it's rush hour, it's like right at 4.30. So I get out, and the, end, or the, the battery on this is located underneath the driver's seat, total pain in the ass to get to. So I said, well, there's nothing I can do, except try my, I got a beautiful <clears throat> booster jumper kit it's really nice so I pulled the bedding apart pulled the thing up moved all my stuff because you know it's all crazy right now with what I've got in here <clears throat> hooked it up let it sit there for one minute <clears throat> got back in the car boom but before I did that I switched the relays I put back the old one because I knew obviously everything's fine and then you switch a relay out everything's not fine so common denominator is going to be that relay Switched it out, boop, 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 started her up, boom, she started right up, no issues. So here's the original factory relay. <clears throat> it's Toyota. It's a Denso. And this, what I need it for, it controls my blower for the heater. So 
So when it went out, I was up in the mountain, and that was a scary ride, man, because I was in the clouds, it was raining, and I have no defrost or no heat, so even if you're wiping down the windshield, you're screwed. I had maybe 10 foot visual. So luckily I got into a caravan of a bunch of cars coming down and just brake lighted all the way down for an hour. And one of the funniest things about this story is I'm coming up a mountain pass so I'm also going super slow because I can't see anything. At this point I have no one with me. So I'm just using the yellow line and white line, and, you know. I'm just using that as my guidance, my reference. But I'm only going 45, 50 miles an hour. Up there, you people are flying, you know. 60, 70, 80. Especially the people that live up there. They're on the Autobahn, man. They live up there, they've grown up there. Those people fly through that stuff. 90, just passing you on corners. That's their turf. So here's the funny part of the story. I'm climbing. I'm climbing, I have nobody with me, so I'm just, you know, using that technique, staying in between the lines, basically. And guess who comes up behind me? A 19, I'd say late 60s, VW bus. I wish I knew who it was. He had, he was a traveler. He had stickers from every state and park. He came up, he passed me uphill. He honked. I'm sure he knew something was up. But a lot of people got on my ass. Just no patience, no thought, like maybe something's not right. That was pretty pretty funny. Getting passed uphill by a 1968 VW bus. Because <laughs> this baby, my Toyota, 1989 Toyota van, you take off that overdrive and she flies. She goes in, gears change, and whee! I fly up those hills at 75, 80 miles an hour. No problem. So I'm going to see if they've got this actual Denso. Wish me luck. He's the slowest train in the world. Even when it's off outside of the city on the tracks, I swear to God it goes five miles an hour. I've taken it once. Yeah, let's see if we can get this. During this whole thing, using hand sanitizer all the time was never an issue for me because I had three years of picking at the goodwill bins and when you're in there in the beginning you get you're all paranoid and you've got gloves on and uh, after two days maybe three days I said no all the pros and that have been there forever they're like you do what you want but you'll see to manipulate things and check things so I got rid of them and just um, Got a little bottle, put the liquid and mix with gel half and half. You've got a beautiful spray. What I do too is my mom had some leftover little essential oils. So I put in three drops of grapefruit or whatever you want, you know, whatever the flavor is and it smells beautiful. So I was already used to it because you're constantly doing it there. You're in, you do it, you gotta learn not to touch your face because there's some nasty stuff in those bins. I've seen everything, diapers, tampons, used, condoms, used, rats, literally, rats in there. So it was just standard to use this, so it never really affected me. Look at that. Chevron, 379, 393, 409 diesel. That's bumped up just in the last couple days. Scary. Taco Bell. To think of how many years I lived off Taco Bell when I was young, when I was a kid. I remember when the tacos, they were 39 cents each for just a beef, cheese, just a simple little taco. Now I think they're what? I'll look, but I think they're a buck forty-nine now, which is still a killer deal. 
And we're talking about, you know, 30 years ago when they were that. 29 cents, I think they were, or 39 cents. So you could just live off of it. I remember when a cold cut combo was a buck 99 at Subway. Remember that? Cold cut combo, dollar 99. I lived off that for years of my life. Amazing. Oh, a soft taco is a dollar 79. I have a. I'm gonna go with a um, chicken chipotle melt value menu. Okay. And that's all. Just one. Any, just one or two? One, please. Any sauce? No, I'm good. Okay. See you next time. Thank you. Yeah, did you catch that? Just the regular soft taco, $1.79. Wow. The value menu here is still awesome though. Even though it all used to be $1. Yeah. Now it's a buck fifteen, dollar twenty, and that's just happened recently. Because I know when you get something. Because I'd stop, there was a pattern I had when I was picking vintage stuff at Goodwill. So I knew I would stop here, boom, 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 boom. So it was just boom, so I'd have the money ready. And one day I go, here you go, and oh, I, you know, 20 cents more. And I go, 20 cents? I go, this is why I ordered, boom, boom, boom. And the prices had just gone up overnight by 20 cents. And I go, wow, that's a big jump from 99 cents to $1.20 or $1.19, you know. And then look at it now, because that was for a soft taco. And that might have been six months ago, from what I recall. That's a big jump. Hi. How much is it? 139. 139. $1.50. Thank you. When I was just going through all my stuff, I found a big bucket of coins. So, I, uh, I hate change. Now I've got to carry them around with me. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thank you. But I know my bank has one of those change counters. Change, that's a thing of the past. So that thing, I watched the clock, that was nine minutes <clears throat> from the time that I pulled up to the time that um, we got our food. Nine minutes, which I don't care, because I've got nothing to do. I'm in you know, no hurry. But if you're working and you're on your lunch break, you know, the drive through is a killer. Everybody knows that. Because you've only got 30 minutes for lunch. And if you try and bolt to get to Taco Bell or McDonald's, Burger King, with everybody else, obviously, you can just barely get there. Hopefully you'll get through and you'll get back. You'll have five minutes to, you know, stuff yourself with that shit. But the story that is just funny is that in Los Angeles, Almost all the fast food places that I'd go, but specifically Taco Bell, they had a timer, like an LCD. This is a while ago, but you know, just a basic digital timer. And it, from the moment you put in your order, the timer was showing how long it takes to get it. And down there, it would always be one minute, 30 seconds. Sometimes it'd be under a minute, it was lightning fast, but you've also got 21 million people and they've got crews in there that are, they build them differently or they must, maybe they're not built differently, but they do, they're doing something. It's just supply and demand, right? So they must know that they always at all times need to have a hundred tacos ready to go. Here, you know, 20 of them up on deck. 
But I remember those timers were all over. It was a big thing. McDonald's, Taco Bell, I think Carl's Jr., Jack in the Box, and they had those timers. So you could see. And they just ripped those out, man. Fast food, right? This would be a killer place to stealth camp. I guarantee you there's people living back here. Because it's a bunch of space behind. Oh, God. But there's not a body on there. But it butts up to another building. So you've got a parking lot behind a parking lot. Yeah, I don't even want to look in there. Yeah, if you get to this point where you're living behind dumpsters, I mean, that's, that's serious, serious problems. That's, you know, you're not going to live long like that. And most of these people don't. You're either going to die of hypothermia or you're going to be robbed or murdered, raped. That's bad, bad news, man. But if you had to hide out, that'd be a good spot. I love these chicken chipotle, little melt. Yeah, I was just bringing you along just a day and I'm running around basically doing errands. I'd probably only be here for another, I'll be here tonight and then I'll probably take off day after tomorrow. Got some projects that I need to take care of. <clears throat> And I need to go to the bank and do some business stuff. Yeah, it was just fun running around. Catch you on the next one. Ciao.